there guys. I just wanted to uh, give you a little, a few tips on how to work with your system and how to plant out your system. So if you get a vertical garden like this and you've got, um, and you want to plant it out, if you do it all at the same time with plants of the same size, it's going to be easier for um, you to pick the right watering schedule as those plants grow and all increase in the amount of water that they need. So we've got the probe over here, which is going to help you uh, pick the watering schedule but um, if you want to have a diverse range of plants from seeds to seedlings to uh, cuttings propagating to big established plants then you're going to have to think a little bit more strategically about where you place your sensor and um, how you place your plants so if you have your bigger plants down the bottom you know they're going to get a little bit more water because they get the drip from the dripper but they also get the drips from the plant above and then the stuff at the top is going to be a little bit drier so you can work with that and you can say okay i'm going to have my seeds like i've got here i've got sunflower seeds about to sprout i've got seedlings so i've got things that have already sprouted like my bok choy uh, warrigal greens i've got things that i split here like the um, Helbasia society garlic and all those things are going to need a lot less water than these big established plants down here. So you need to think about um, where you're gonna put this. So if I did put that in my seeds, then it will try and pick the right watering schedule for the seeds to make sure the soil moisture is drying out adequately in between watering, but the stuff down the bottom will probably not get enough. So if you put that in a plant here, like this big basil, I'll say, all right, I'll probe that into the soil here. And I know that it's gonna start picking the water schedule for plants of the similar same size. So my mint and my um, marigolds and um, everything down here, the bigger plants, are still gonna get enough water because they're gonna have similar water requirements to the established basil. But the stuff at the top is gonna get less anyway because they're gonna get nothing dripping from the top because there's nothing at the top. So they will be a little bit drier. So they're a better spot to put your seeds, your uh, smaller plants, and um, your, do your propagation. If you have any more questions, just let me know. And uh, happy vertical gardening, and um, yeah, talk soon.